studio lights, studio lights, studio lights. My name's Matt, welcome back to the shop and my name's Matt, welcome back to the shop and today someone asked me a question which is quite a good one. Um, uh, pull, push and pull throttles versus single cable throttles. Right, so before we do anything, before we talk about this, what we have to understand is what cables do. So cables only work in tension when you pull them. You know, it's just like pulling a rope. When you push a rope, it kinks and then blah, 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 blah. Now, yes, these cables have uh, outer jackets, which means you can, the reversal is a bit better, but you'll have a throttle like so. And basically that has a, um, oh, what do you call them now? The crimp thing on the end. It's a lot, I've lost it. Anyway, <laughs> so you have a cable basically that goes from here to your carb or throttle body and it has the same, um, I don't know what you call them, crimped thing on the end. I can't think of it. Anyway, any rod, when you twist your throttle, it pulls this around. And this can either be the foot butterflies to your throttle for your carb, or it can be your slide on your carb, something like that. And uh, when you let go of your throttle, it is a spring, a torsion spring, a torsional spring that um, basically returns, it closes it. So every time you pull your throttle, basically you're pulling against the, um, you're pulling against that spring. On a push-pull design, well really it should be called a pull-pull because that's what you're doing, is that it's exactly the same thing really, you have a throttle body or whatever, you have a uh, cable that goes up like this and a cable that goes up like this to your throttle and depending which way you twist, so if you pull back your throttle, it will um, pull back your throttle, it'll actually pull this one. So it pull, puts that one under tension, and this causes your throttle body or carb or whatever to rotate, so it opens your butterfly, whatever, giving your engine more air, what have you. And then when you uh, roll the throttle back down again, you're actually putting this one under tension and that's basically pulling the other way. So you're pulling and you're pulling. So you're pulling open, you're pulling closed. Why would you want to do this? Um, because like I said, if your spring or anything goes a bit funky, gets a bit rusty or whatever, usually the stainless springs, but if any it gets, usually gets shit and gunk in there. Um, but you're always pulling the throttle. When you push it back, it's the spring and it doesn't give you excellent throttle control. You'll find with these um, throttles that they will snap shut um, like your old school carb bikes and stuff, you pull the throttle and it snaps closed if that spring's in good working order and there's a nut, your cable hasn't rusted up. When you have bigger, more powerful bikes and stuff like that, basically it's more expensive to do this because this is two cables, two jackets, two outer sheaths and yeah, you know, it's more expensive but it does give you more of a finesse of, of throttle control basically. And um, even these push-pull ones or the pull-pull ones they have spring light springs as well, so when you let go of the throttle, it's more of a safety thing. So the, the bike will always, when you let go of the throttle, it'll always close. But because it's a lighter weight spring, it seems to just roll close nicely. Uh, it just gives you more throttle control, that's all it does. That's why some of these bikes, bigger bikes, even though they might be bigger engines and stuff, they feel a bit smoother. Yes, it's all to do with a load of things like um, throttle bodies and injection maps and so on and so on. But... Um, as far as throttles go, this is more expensive, so you'll find this on your bigger bikes and obviously newer bikes and stuff like that. Hope that makes sense. I'll have to get rid of this horrible shadow. That one's a bit too close, I think. Um, there we go. And I'll uh, see you in a bit. <laughs> 